my name is Stephen Holm and I'm with Home Grounds. If you're new around here, welcome. If you wouldn't mind subscribing, liking this video, if you like coffee content and you'd like to see more. So today we are talking about this, the next level brewer. It may look familiar. We already have a whole video on no bypass brewers that I would recommend watching before this one. This is a no bypass brewer. And without going way into it, that essentially just means that you are not getting water that is inconsistently going around the coffee bed diluting your beverage. So all of the water has to make contact with all the coffee grounds in this brewer. Now this one in particular is $49. It comes in black and white. The white can stain a little bit, so just a heads up there. And it's a really nice brewer. I won't go into a full review. I sort of did that in the no bypass brewer video, but I really enjoy this brewer. So today we're gonna talk about some recipes that you can use with the next level brewer, but also some other no bypass brewers out there. Now a couple things up front. First off, this video is not sponsored. I purchased this brewer with my own money, so these are all my own thoughts and opinions. And then also I wanna say, if you're using a different no bypass brewer, like the Tricklet, the recipes won't work exactly because this brewer is meant to use between 20 and 50 grams of coffee, so it's meant for larger brews. So if you're using something else, just scale the recipes down. Now Next Level does have a lot of tips, tricks, and recipes on their website, so be sure to check those out. These are just some of my favorites that are sort of derived from some of theirs and things I found on my own. Now the first recipe is going to be a standard, no dilution, meaning no fresh water added to dilute the brew at the ends. This is sort of my daily go-to when I just wanna brew a cup of coffee in the morning. So we are going to start with 18 grams of coffee, ground on a bit of a finer grind. You can see here about what you're looking for. And this is gonna be a one to 20 ratio. We're able to get those higher ratios because of the no bypass brewing. So you don't need to use as much coffee, which is really nice. With the next level brewer, I like just pouring a heavy stream right in the middle and it sort of disperses that water throughout. At least for the bloom in the later pouring stages, I like to pour around the outside a little bit slower. Now to start off, we're going to bloom with 70 grams of water and we're gonna let that sit for about one minute. At one minute, we're going to pour again around the outsides pretty slowly up until you hit 215 grams. We're going to walk away, let that draw down until it's pretty close to completely drawing down. I like sort of using the rubber here of the next level brewer as a guide of when I should start pouring again with my stages. And then we're gonna add the rest of our water up to 360 grams. And you're just gonna let that finish draining and there's your first standard recipe. I dialed mine into where the overall brewing finishes right at around five minutes and 45 seconds. So a bit of a longer brew time than you would normally get with a pour over, but this brewer likes slightly longer times. So I would aim for something around there, but experiment depending on your coffee, your grind size and what you're looking for out of your cup. Now moving right on to the second recipe. This is based off of one of the ones on Next Level's website. It is a one to 14 ratio brew with dilute bringing it up to about a one to 17 ratio overall, if that makes sense. So we are using 30 grams of coffee, pouring water up to 420 grams, and then we're going to dilute at the end with 80 grams of fresh hot water. So with this one, we have our 30 grams of coffee. We are going to bloom with 100 grams of water and we are gonna let that sit again for about one minute. After the one minute, we're going to pour up to 220 grams we're going to let that draw down almost all the way, then up to 320, once again let that draw down, and then all the way up to 420. By brewing in stages like this, we are gradually introducing clean solvent water into the brewer versus just pouring it all at once. Now once that's done drawing down, I preferred mine around the six minute mark, so be sure to adjust your grind setting accordingly. We're just going to remove the brewer and add 80 grams of hot water. And that's it for the second recipe. This works really well with coffees that extract really easily. So naturally processed coffees, any sort of experimental fermentations, those work really nicely with a dilute method. Now our third recipe is going to be an even stronger ratio of one to 10 plus a dilute, but we are going to replace the clean water at the end with ice. So this is gonna be a flash brew method. So in order to do this, we are just going to take your carafe, whatever you're brewing into, fill it with ice, and then just brew right over that. 
You're going to want to adjust your grind setting for this one a little bit finer than the other recipes since we're using a lot less water. So we're going to be using 20 grams of coffee. You can raise that up if you're making more than one cup and pour 60 grams for your bloom. Let that sit for one minute. Then we're going to pour up to 130 grams. Let that draw down almost all the way and then pour up to 200 grams and let that draw down all the way. I like the drawdown time of about four minutes and since that is brewing over ice, now you have a perfect iced coffee and it is so delicious. So those are my favorite recipes with the Next Level Brewer. If you have any additional ones, let us know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear them and try them out. If you try out any of these recipes, be sure to let us know what you think. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy brewing.